www.tmartisunlimited.com. said we my my moment was when I seen that um because you know I played only as a freshman I after that game we played after Boston for me my first game we on, we went on to play Harvard the next game which is another game that you know we scouted for and I can remember like how you know his pace how he plays with so his pace like how much I learned so it was in the Harvard game, probably because I, I I got the film, so I remember now vividly that in the Harvard game it was a time where I'm 100 miles per hour, I'm everything speed, yeah. and he takes his time and paces, and he could put you on his hip or whatever. So it was the times where he'll say, "I got you right here." He'll tell you that the moments that I'm in because coach didn't mind putting us on the court together. It wasn't like I had to come sub in for you, and that's what mattered. If we would have stayed like that, just Subbing in for you, he need to play 38 minutes. You know what I'm saying? You could go down. We played a 2-3. That's the key. The key is we played a 2-3 matchup that turned into a man, so we could switch and all that. So us up top, we could make that work. With you down low and whoever else wings that we had at that time, it was um, with Nate and, um, oh, yes. Yes, so Nate, Nate, John. Highland. Yes, Nate, but Nate and John played most of the minutes. That, and then, of course, Keith came off the bench. Greg Kenzie, well, I came off the bench, but Greg Kenzie started and Keith came in for him. But it was more of the, of the, you know, the moment was it wasn't, he don't vocalize too much. He'll tell you real sparingly, like, this is what we're going to do. And his leadership was way different. That's how, but he made you feel comfortable in that situation. That's how I look. And that's what I, what I got, because it, it wasn't just one moment for me. It was continuous through the season, even if it might not have been like, okay, everybody looks at it, wins and losses. That's not all the teaching. Because we lost games, and I think it was a total of like nine games within like eight points, something crazy like that, that, that we go. Those, if we win half of those, we, we we're, we're now we got 15, 17, and something like that, right? We were 13 and 15 at the time, from what I remember. 17 wins and four more losses, now you're 17 and 11. Now you're different. Every, all those teams in the league didn't have these crazy records either. And I think we ended up going to Maryland. This is year they, they stopped it after this year. And um, Lehigh ends up winning it, I think, that year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And they didn't have a winning record. I don't even think they had a winning record. Yeah, they, had a, they had a playing, playing game. Playing games. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, they had a playing, had a playing game, game yeah, that year. Yeah. Yes, and I think they even lost to, like, if it was Norfolk State or Florida A&M. In the playing game. In the playing game, something mm -hmm. crazy like that. So it was more of that. So if I talk about that, it was his subtle showing me what I need to do and his pace, his tempo, that never changed. Like he could change tempo, change speeds, and I'm going 100 miles per hour. Yeah. For you, you're as the shooting guard, I always looked for you. So my moment was anytime you always said, yo, find me. <laughs> For real, that's it, and not not in no arrogance or nothing. You you had supreme confidence, even if you, even if you people might not have saw it. Your confidence was high. Like even if you probably didn't think, your confidence was like I'm gonna make a bucket. And he even could say that because he said, I saw you come off the bench in a championship game. I watched the games, and have that. So my moment is 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 bigger than like like just saying okay he can do it. My moment is seeing you light up, and it's not see it's not the scoring. It was the way you did it. So if we talked about Puerto Rico, I, I, we spoke about it. I spoke about it early. I, I have to say, because of Puerto Rico, it could have looked like an out of body experience for you. But I was watching the game, so I'm on the game and I'm dishing the ball to you, and you pulling up from anywhere. They couldn't stop you. So the moment is not about scoring; it's about how you scored and how effective you were. And I knew that at all times we need a buck ace and learn how to play with a point guard like Jave. So I could be a better point guard, and I need to be able to utilize my wings. And we had the best wing in the league. You know what I'm saying? Guys that knew that, yeah, we, yo, honestly, if we talk about our career, could you play at another big school and be a second string player? Probably, right? Like, that's what people think. But we wanted to be who we were at our universe, at our college. That's what I think when I see this. At our college, we wanted to be the best person, best player that we could be to help win games. You know what I'm saying?
Um, my memorable moment is we don't kind of discussed it, but uh, Tori was that he came off and he had 18, and he was like a he was like a madman, you know. And um, <laughs> but you know, just watching you in practice and going against you in practice and like the determination and heart that you had was like something I admired, you know. And everybody is not blessed with that. I wasn't blessed with that, you know. And some things, you know, those are things that I, I wish I had. You know what I'm saying? Like you would just play it all out, you know, and like never let up. And we used to be playing against you in practice and I remember one time I think I I like did something and I cut mm -hmm. your eye and you was bleeding. Mm -hmm. I, said, I said, oh, we about to fight. Corey ain't gonna let this go down. <laughs> I said, he ain't gonna mm -hmm. let this go down. I got stitches. But, <laughs> I got stitches. I, and I, I was like, oh, my bad, my bad. And you was like, nah, 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 you good, you good, you good. And you came back yeah, to practice. like practice. I'm like, oh, I thought, you know, like, it thought your, I thought your day was gonna be over. Right. You know? I and that. I, you remember that? Yes. And I, I was like, huh? That's why you did it. <laughs> no, I, I, it was an accident, you right, know. But right, I was right. like, I was like, oh but damn! But I remember getting stitched, and I came back. I he came back, and I was like, damn, that's kind of crazy, you know. I thought, I thought he, I thought we was about to get it on, you know. <laughs> so I was gearing up. You know? <laughs> I'm like, you know, nah, but just yeah, seeing was... like your aggression and, you know, like yeah, the man. the way that you was able to like, as a, even as a freshman, to telling people what to do, you know. That's what mm -hmm. I, that's what I saw, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And like, you would do this thing. I don't know how you used to do this. You would go under the basket, like triple pump, and kick it to the wing, and like a perfect pass every time, you know? You used to have the stats in it, and practice, and all that. Oh, it's a turnover right here. It's a turnover, you know? No, and, the stats for practice, yes. And, you know, just your, just yeah. your ability that, that, that you had, you know? And, like, and when I saw you do that, and like just step into that game, and um, when BU, that like always a stick out. Like I told you, I didn't, I didn't, Look at that game recently. Mm -hmm. I didn't look at the stats recently. I knew, yeah, I know yeah. you had 18 because you came out and you stepped out. I remember you hitting the three in the corner, mm -hmm. and I, you know, I remember you clapping like that. Like, I'm like, Cody did that. We got to win now, yeah. right? You know, so yeah, I uh, uh, definitely, you know, those are like that's a memorable moment for you. Yeah. And then for uh, Kev, you know, um, the playoffs that you had my junior year. That championship game that you know you, you you won us that game, and like going into my senior year, like you was the man, you know, like yeah. you was the man. Like when I brought when I was looking for you, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. You was a sophomore, and I already had um was willing to say he's a better scorer than me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like even though he's a sophomore and I'm a senior, and people might say, well, this is your team. You're a mm -hmm. senior. Like, nah, he, he's the one that I'm going to go to. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, I'm passing him the ball. You know, and I remember one time we was playing, um, we were playing in the garden and we was, uh, we were playing against Maris. And somebody had got a steal. I think I got a steal or something. And we were down like two. And I threw you the ball up. You know, like, yeah, do something with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I, I had trust, you yeah. know, in him that, in his ability, that right. he's the man on the team. Yeah. You know, and... I think from there, you know, like I had the utmost confidence in you, so that's my like moment. You came out freshman year, and I knew you was like a hard worker and stuff, and it might have been my team like paper and stuff, but like when it came to like who would get the ball, I would, you know, no doubt, I would give it to him. I had to trust him, I work for him, yeah, transition over, no doubt. Yeah. What's your question? My question? Oh, my um, question I had. Oh, I. One thing you would have done differently in your career, pro, high school, or college? Something that you think you would have done differently. Mm -hmm. So what, what would I have done differently? That's a great one. So um, it was one, one thing I would say professionally, um, I let I think media and even family and people over here try to dictate where I could go. And it was Israel, I gotta say this. They told me that, oh, Israel is this, they're bombing over there. But Israel is one of the flyest places to go play ball for an American, to be able to enjoy the weather, the food. So one place that I passed up on a job, that I went later, and I shouldn't have passed up on that job because they allow you to be who you are. You don't have to go crazy with these crazy practices that we had in Europe. And that matters for coach longevity of your body and all of that. And when you look at the media and how they twist things and tell you things, that is one thing I can say. Me passing up professionally 
and a job in Israel for me was something I wish I never passed up on. Questions are kind of negative, son. You're not negative. Okay, yeah, they're negative. So, yeah, that's too negative. I mean, no, but that, I'm joking. But, you know, that's different. So, somebody would be correct. Or something you would have done differently. I would have done differently. Uh, I would have done differently. I think, uh, you know, when I got to Euro, I realized quick that. It's a business move, right? Like, you know, when we're in college, you're playing with your best friends and people you establish relationships with, you know them. It's all about the team. And then, you know, when you get to Europe, um, you find out quick that people, you know, it's a job now. These people have, on your team, are looking out for their best interests. Like, everybody's trying to get a better job from this. It's, it's what they're supposed to do, but that's just the reality of the situation. And I think, um, I, I wasn't good with like playing the game, so to speak. You know what I mean? And that kind of like marketability for me, like to go to the highest levels, like to play in the league consistently and stuff like that. You know, I, when it came to business dealings, I, I was like really straightforward. I wasn't, you know, like, I, and I, I, I probably could have been more engaging with uh, like all this, the community stuff that the teams wanted me to do. I could have been engaging with management, uh, even even teammates and stuff like that. You know, being more, immersed myself more in the culture than I had. I was kind of like to myself a little bit with my family. Uh, if I could go back, you know, in Europe, these things are going by so fast. You'd be like passing the Eiffel Tower and you'd be on your cell phone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Instead of focus, you know, enjoy, I would have enjoyed it. I would have taken in the experiences more instead of focusing so much on for my family, you know what I have to do to, uh, to, to put my family in better circumstances. So I enjoyed my time, but if I, if, if I could go back to it, that would change. I would spend more time interacting with the cultures, being outside more, you know, playing the game more. So, you know, yeah, no, exactly what you mean, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like politics. Politics, yeah. yeah. That's going to be part of it. Mm -hmm. so, well, for me, I think I would have liked to have coached more going into my each year and understanding what it's like to be a coach and to demand things of your players. You know, because right now we coach, right? And we can say, we know exactly what you need to, in order to be a successful team, right? You need your players to talk, and no matter how embarrassing you look, you need to talk, you need to give direction, right? right. But when you're that player, Right? Mm -hmm. You don't fully understand it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So now when you step back, if I'd have stepped back, well, I would, wouldn't have known this then. You know what I'm saying? But if I was able to, like, maybe get my own team or maybe coach more and understand, like, why it's important that you're a certain way, you know, in order to win, I think I could have took that and transitioned to be maybe a better leader. You know? And embracing, I, I think I could embrace people more. You know? Being able to, like, be out on the forefront and get, like, give guys direction, you know? So like, I work out now, right? Mm -hmm. And I work out with a group of people. And I have no problem with saying, Yo, you're not working hard, let's, mm -hmm. let's pick it up. But back then, I might've had an issue of mm -hmm. doing that, you know? Mm -hmm. And now that, I'm, now that I'm a teacher, I'm able to, I know I can give a kid direction and say, this is what you have to do. I don't I don't feel like intimidated and stuff. Right. But back then, back then I was a little intimidated because maybe yeah. I ain't want, I ain't want this person not to like me. Right. You know what I'm saying? And not realizing that it's not about that. Yeah. That's separate than something else. You know. Yes. So I would have done that differently. Maybe like explored other leaders or definitely coaching more, getting on the other side of like being that coach and demanding stuff from a player or a person. You know. Yes. Maybe teaching like a summer camp or something like that. You know. And hopefully that would transition over to my uh, leadership. So like summer like. Exposing yourself to more experience, you know. Mm -hmm. well, we, we, we're like, well, this guy is the mayor of every. You know, you and me are like introverts. Yeah, y'all yeah, definitely way different, and like people don't get a chance to see y'all in this type of light because y'all definitely are more introverted. But y'all got so much wisdom, so much knowledge. I knew from, I would say, from going to Trinity, understanding what politics mean. And you gotta actually say, not that you gotta not be who you are and not 
say where you come from. Like if I come from White Plains, Ferris Ave, my project, what they call it, that's where I'm from. And that's not gonna never change. But it's like, okay, I could talk to you. You could be white, you could be Asian, you could be Spanish, and I'm gonna talk to you as a man and get whatever I need to get out of you as far as your culture, your religion, whatever, so we could have a real discussion. Don't matter about your color, your skin, or what race and nationality you are. And that's how I was able to navigate differently through Media Marches Illuminate.com